For these questions, you have to write the value in expanded form. So let's look at what the directions actually mean. You're going to write the value. So value is the amount a digit or number is actually worth. But we're going to write it in expanded form. So expanded form is a way to write a number that shows the value of each individual digit. So let's look at some examples. Okay, so let's look at number two. We have the number 28,942. We're going to write this in a way where we can see what each digit is actually worth. So let's start with the biggest place value. It's the 10,000s place, and the digit in it is 2. So the value of the 2 is 20,000. So that's what you're going to do first. Okay. Now we are going to add on to that number, so I'm going to write a plus sign to show that I'm adding value onto that number. The next digit we're going to look at is the next one in the number, which is an 8. But instead of writing 8, we're going to write what the 8 actually stands for, the value of the 8. So since this 8 is in the thousands place, the value of the 8 is 8,000. Okay, we're not finished yet, so we're going to add on. We're going to add on starting with the next digit, 9, and this 9 is in the hundreds place, so the value of the 9 is 900. Okay, we still have two more digits, so we're going to add on again. We have a 4, and the 4 is in the tens place, so the value is going to be 40. And we have one more digit to add on, and that's going to be the 2. This 2 is in the 1's place, so we have two 1's, which is just a 2. So this is the expanded form of the number. It takes a lot longer to write numbers this way, and that's why we have place value, so we can write it this way instead, but they actually mean the same amount. So let's look at another example. Notice this example, number 3, has a 0 in it. Watch what happens when we get to a 0 while we're writing in expanded form. So once again, we start with the largest digit and the largest place value, which is a 5. And this 5 is in the 10,000s place. So 5 10 thousands is 50,000. So we're going to start by writing that value. Okay, we're going to add on the next one. So this time we have a 6, and the 6 is in the thousands place. So the value is going to be 6,000. Let's add on. We're at the 2, and it's in the hundreds place, so that value is going to be 200. Okay, we're going to add on, but now we're at the 0. If you find a 0, it is just a placeholder for the tens place, since there's no digit in the tens place. There's no tens. So we just get to skip it and move to the next one. So now we have a 1 in the ones place, so we're going to write the 1 there. Okay, we'll do one more. Look at number four. We have a one in the ten thousands place, so that's going to be worth one ten thousand. Okay, now we have a seven in the thousands place, so that value is going to be seven thousand. Now we have a nine in the hundreds place, so nine hundreds has a value of nine hundred. Now we have a four in the tens place, so that value is going to be 40. And finally, we have an eight in the ones place, so that value is just going to be eight. You will start to see, once again, a pattern forming. Notice, as you begin to write it out, the two has four digits behind it and four zeros behind it in expanded form. Eight has three digits behind it and three zeros in expanded form. The nine has two zeros and two digits after it. The four has one digit after it and one zero. The two has no zeros and no digits after it. If you notice that pattern, that's a great way to check and make sure that you got each answer correct. All right, so try the rest of them on your own. Good luck.